Hey guys, it's J19, brought to, to you a yet another video. Um, today we're going to cover a little bit of Final Fantasy VII Rebirth updates from the interview of Kitase and Nomura uh, by the Famitsu article, which I will have uh, Audrey's uh, Twitter uh, link in the description below, um, along with this uh, trailer if you want to keep rewatching it, which I have been a lot. I cannot stop watching this, but before we get begin, you guys know what to do. Subscribe if you guys want more Final Fantasy VII Rebirth news, updates, reactions, streams, etc. Uh, hit the like button, subscribe if you're new. Uh, I already said that. Uh, hit the notification bell, <laughs> stay notified when I go live or upload the next video. With that said, let's get right into it. The first thing I want to talk about is, let's get the elephant out of the worm room, uh, Zach. Uh, they have confirmed that Zack is alive, okay? Zack's victory from the Ultimania. They also confirmed that, you know, Zack's going to play a big role in Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Um, he has, he's going to have to play a major role, and uh, I'm excited. I'm excited to see, because uh, for a while there, I'm like, what are you going to do with Zack? Like, is this just a Camille, a cameo? Is it just, you know, fan service, or just, like... You know, he's just going to be out and around, like, the live stream. Who knows, all the theories and stuff. But they confirmed that Zack is going to play a important role, big role, in Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. They also asked questions about uh, Sephiroth. They said, in the original game, in the Calm Flashback, they said, this is a Calm Flashback, correct? They said, yes. And they also asked a question. It's like, we had Sephiroth fight with us in battle in the OG Final Fantasy VII and the, call, and the knee behind flashback, not calm flashback. Knee behind flashback. They said, correct. But they asked if, if they're going to be like uh, fighting with us in Rebirth. And they said, right now we can't, we can't go into details of that right now because, uh, you know, PR speech because the higher ups won't let them. Um, they also asked about. A few other things. This kind of was a little... Oh, they also talked about the, uh, of course, uh, three parts. Knowing that we have three parts, a lot of fans are worried about, you know, how many parts going to be. Is it going to be like three or four parts? And what's really surprising by this, they actually had an idea of going like just two parts. Have this first game and just Midgar, and have the second game just cover the rest of, rest of the whole story. But, here's the big butt part. Um, they know that they can't, like, they can't do that unless they cut a lot of content out. And they know that they, they can't do that. So, they, they want to rest assured that nothing, you know, basically what they're saying is nothing's going to be cut out. And I think that's awesome. That's a reassurance that all these favorite places, famous places in Final Fantasy VII, all the story be moments, story beats that we all know and love, we're all going to hit them. They're, they're not going to cut anything. But they did have it where it's like even though we do have three parts they said right at the moment we're not going doing more than three parts so right now they confirmed this three parts but depends how much content they can fit in part two and the good thing is they reached the they just got their like they got the first part of the development done right now they're in like the not the final production part but they're like in the next stage of development where they have confirmed that in a year and a half from now, they're launching Rebirth. They said, just please be more patient. And they said, so one and a half years, that's winter of, you know, 2023, like December. And they, they actually say, yeah, that's that's the goal. That goal is, is we're going to launch this thing in 2020, you know, in uh, winter of next winter. So in a 1.5 years from now. So that, to me, means they are trying, they're going to try to hit a December release date with this game. And with development going as smooth as it is now, and astonishingly fast, it is, this is indeed possible now. Um, they also want to ask about, uh, what else they asked? I, I just read the article. But anyway, that's what I top of my head that really popped out to me. Um, that Zach's going to play a major role. That they was actually going to make just two games out of this whole thing. But they end up going with three. And so at the moment, three games is what we're, what we're going to do. So, and they also confirm, I just remember now, that they will not be touching Before Crisis or Dirge of Service 
for now because it'd be a little it's like too much to worry about right now. Um, they get, like pretty much what they said, kind of without actually coming out saying it is they would be really like thinned out if they try to like do all these projects at once. So a remaster of Dirge of Service and Before Crisis is not on the table right now, and they don't plan on doing any kind of like spin-off titles f for a while. So we might not see anything until after the remake project is done. Um, which makes sense, because their main focus is this. Crisis Core Re uh, Reu uh, Reunion, which I covered in my last video. And yeah, I'm excited. Um, of course, they can't give us a whole lot of detailed information, um, because they're not allowed to like, say a whole lot right now. But they said, please be patient while we work on this. We are working very hard to, you know, to bring us the game that we all truly want and the effort they want to put into it. So they told us to be patient in this interview, and I'm going to stick by it with just riding this train. No matter where the story goes, I'm, I'm excited. Everything they've been talking about recently in these interviews and stuff, I'm excited. I can't not wait. So let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Again, I'll have the link to Audrey's uh, translation. You guys can go through and uh, read all the questions and answers they gave. But that's what popped out to me. Um, I just want to cover it in this quick little video. So what I said, let me know in the comments below what you guys think of all this. What's your hype level for Rebirth? To be honest, my hype for Rebirth is way higher than Final Fantasy 16. It's way higher than even Crisis Core Reunion. You know, that is really on my mind a lot too. I cannot wait to play that. And they also said with all these titles for Final Fantasy 7 coming out, that it'll help keep the wait for like the final part not so, you know, long of a wait. So I'm I'm excited for that. So as, with that said, hope you guys have a wonderful day, wonderful night. Keep on keeping on. Be safe out there. Be nice to each other. Thank you guys for the love and support as always. If you guys want more Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth news, updates, trailer reactions, all that jazz. Subscribe if you're new. Hit the bell notification. Throw a like on the video and stay notified when I go live or upload my next video. With that said, I'll have links in the description below for her Twitter, translation, Discord, uh, Twitter, and, and Twitch. Yeah. Anyways, I'm having my, <laughs> my mind slowly on rebirth right now. So, sorry about that. Uh, Discord, uh, feel free to join. Follow me on uh, Twitch and Twitter. With that said, I'll catch you guys on the next one. God bless. Take care.